Hello beautiful people, how are you? This is Lovely Love, aka Pretty in Pink with Divine Essence Ascension Academy. I just wanted to talk to you today about what is the purpose of your twin flame. Um, a lot of people, women, I'm so sorry, a lot of women and men, divine feminines, positive polarity, um, whatever we call ourselves, um, on this journey, they have a lot of issues with their twin. Um, some of them say their their twin is so embedded into the matrix. They're fo so focused on, um, I guess, money and and material things and drinking, and, and they may be involved in um, negative things. Some of them may have criminal histories or maybe doing criminal activities. I don't know. It it could range. Some people state that their twin may be narcissists. Um, so many I've, I've i've seen it all i've talked to quite a few people about about this and um not a lot of positive things um, people have to say they talk about how their twin is constantly running from them um they're not doing the work um things like that and the more spiritual twin tends to get frustrated with the journey because they're the ones doing everything and um, the other one isn't and I think one of the reasons for this is because one we don't understand what the purpose of a twin flame is what is a twin flame or, or anything like that there's a lot of false information going around and we tend to think that twin flames are number one the separate entity um, from yourself and that the purpose of it is like a soulmate relationship. It's like the greatest soulmate ever possible, possibly created. And it could be that, and it, it could be the absolute worst. Um, depends on what, what you do with your journey. And basically, um, they, they, they are your soul. You are basically the same soul incarnated into two different bodies simultaneously within the same time period and your twin is basically there as a mirror of how you are doing and I think sometimes we get this this mirroring um, thing kind of mixed up and without full understanding of what it is um, I, I mean they do mirrors in so many different ways like some of you may look like your twin um uh, from what my understanding I, I think most people if not all at the very least have they have maybe have the same eyes um you know they said the eyes are the windows to your soul um some look almost identical to their to their twins um some look like family members so that the mirroring very is varies in, in many ways sometimes we may we may have the same speech patterns and things like that so mir mirroring is um varies um we may have similar things going on on in our lives and so we think okay so we have to my twin is there doing this that means i must fix this in my life that's not what it's about it's a spiritual journey it's not a mental psychological emotional um fix myself up journey it's a spiritual journey when you so the purpose of <clears throat> meeting your twin flame in the in first of all is to spark your spiritual journey when you first meet your twin um, for, for everyone it's different everyone is absolutely different um, but sometimes you can spend time with them without any, anything happening it's just like this you feel like a magnetic pull to them and them to you and it's just a beautiful um, scenario um, for me, it, it was very different. <clears throat> I'll go into my journey another time. But for me, it was very different. Um, and after that period, um, it's, it varies for everyone. But at some point, you will basically have some sort of recognition of who this person is. You may not know the term Twin Flame. Or you may not know, you may not know how to point your finger to what's going on, but you will know that there's something very different about this person, and that you feel some sort of connection to them that's that's um, otherworldly or um, 
you might you might not have the words but you just feel like you know this is your person you, you you know there's something about them you may see for me i um you may see yourself in them and them in you you, you like you feel you literally feel like one that's how it was for me like i i literally looked i was like oh my gosh that's that's literally i literally saw myself and um even for like i remember like a whole week passed <clears throat> and i looked in a mirror and i it was like i was seeing him but like maybe like a smaller more feminine version of him because it's literally you're the same and maybe the brain the mind or whatever gets confused and i don't know <laughs> But that's um, that's that's literally what it is. So you meet them; they spark this um, this spiritual awakening. Um, <clears throat> you may experience a Kundalini awakening, and for me, what that felt like was it feels like your body is being electrocuted, and it's like it's convulsing um, tremendously, and but it does it's not painful it actually feels really good and it, it feels like you're being electrocuted with with pure love and for me um i felt the energy like going up and down my spine it was it was completely outrageous um but at the same time a, a beautiful a beautiful experience um <clears throat> for some people it's not as obvious and it, it, the energy may come on more slowly you might just feel a little energy going through different parts of your body. I've, I've actually experienced both. <clears throat> I've noticed the energy um, happen first, the, the slow flow of energy, and then I had the um, huge uh, Kundalini awakening after that. Um, with that, you might have heightened intuition. You, <clears throat> you just kind of know things. And you don't know how you know you just know it sometimes you can hear um you can hear things you know you would hear certain information it could be heard like in, in, in many it can be heard like almost audibly or like in your head whatever or you um your spiritual or your meta metaphysical gifts might become more pronounced some of us may have had um these gifts from when we were young um, some may not have noticed them maybe they were a little bit more logical and kind of like brushed them off um, but for me I've I've noticed these gifts since I was like seven and it there will be off and on sometimes sometimes it'll be more strong sometimes I'm um, not as strong but I've I've experienced several different types of of gifts over the over the years and when you go through um, a, an awakening with your twin flame um it's like it it's like someone turns a light switch on and, and it's like it's 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 on um it can go in and out still too um kind of have to work at it you know so you look you experience all of that um then at a certain point you'll experience what is called the dark night of the soul um which is like ego death basically your ego is like dying it feels like your whole life has been kind of like wiped away it's it's the most intense depressing experience one can ever imagine for me what it felt like was <clears throat> <clears throat> like a big tsunami this is how i pictured it in, in my in my head <clears throat> it was like a big tsunami came through and wiped out every single person that i have ever known and it wiped out everything I have ever, ever come to know, every place, and I, I've I've come to um, know that it's more like a, you're kind of detaching from those things. So it's like you go through this heavy depression, and it's it it is it is it, it was, for me it was terrible. Um, you'd spend the, your nights just crying for absolutely no reason. There's nothing going on in your life that warrants any tears whatsoever especially to this magnitude <clears throat> you'll cry like everything you've ever like everyone you know just just died that's how terrible it is um so you you'd go through that and you, you start feeling detached from from certain things and people and things like that then you would go 
through um, the obsessive thinking. And I think a lot of us are still stuck in the obsessive thinking. And that is why your twin flame might be running or not talking to you, might have you blocked or whatever. Um, you, you're stuck in this obsessive thinking. And for me, well, I, I went through the obsessive thinking. It, it was horrendous. It was, it felt like, I don't know if it's the same for everybody or, or what, but for me, it felt like I was literally being attacked by thoughts of my twin. And he was still in contact with me though. And I'll, I'll, I'll go through all that, that whole story. He was still in contact with me. And he was, he was sometimes ask, oh, you, you, you haven't called me, you haven't texted me, like what's going on? Um, he was like, oh, you're not thinking about me? And I'm like, I'm trying my best to not think about you. <laughs> I would give anything to stop thinking about you. It was, and I'm not talking about, oh, oh, he's so tall, he's so handsome, oh, he's so, it was nothing like that. Um, it's like you're being attacked. You're, it's like your brain is being attacked with thoughts of this particular subject and of this particular person. And it's nonstop all day all night you can't eat you can't think you can't do anything you can't concentrate on anything <clears throat> um because it's just this constant thought it's 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 horrendous and <clears throat> like if i was to give you like like an example of how frequent it was at its worst if i said it happened like six times a minute <laughs> that might be like too little it, it, there's no way you can exaggerate how intense and horrific it was of um this obsessive thinking um it literally feels like an attack of, of, of the mind and like the mind is like breaking down and stuff like that um and what else and yeah and that's that's pretty much it and re really once you get to that for me what um my twin ran differently, so I can't really say, you know, how your your twin ran, whatever. But when you get to that obsessive thinking, it's it's like it's kind of like over. Um, you're stuck in the mind, and your twin will definitely run and be out of there. That's usually when you guys get blocked, or maybe they block you after you're like stalking them because you're just like thinking about them so much, or. Some of you actually probably even got the um, advice from others. Some of you probably even got advice from others to do that, to like just constantly contact them. And that's literally the worst thing to do. You, you just leave them alone, let them be. And you have to, you have to learn how to be. <clears throat> so the main purpose is your spiritual journey because they awaken you. And then they also act as a gauge of how you're doing in on your spiritual journey so the more you obsess about them the more they're gonna run you stalk them they're, they're gonna block you because it's not as th that they're narcissistic or mean spirit or whatever type of people it's the, the issue is is that um, like with soulmates now, right? You're two separate souls and you have like this attraction towards each other. You have this attraction towards each other um, with soulmates. And um, <clears throat> you could think about them, you could obsess over them, and you, you, you'll actually pull them in because you're, you, you may be of like two separate energies, but they're very similar. So you kind of like get each other. Um, you know, you know stuff. Many of you have probably met soulmates, so you know what I'm talking about. So you, you just kind of like get each other, but with your twin, you're you're like the same soul. You're literally like the same entity um, on polar opposites. So you're like the positive, they're the negative, and when you push against them, um, they run. They're not going to be able to tolerate it. They're they're an antagonized. I've actually seen my, my twin in person get intag get um antagonized um with my with my mind energy it's, it's like he's like oh i, I gotta go 
<laughs> it's it's weird, but they just they um they can't handle it. They can't handle um because the connection is on the soul. And when you push that polar opposite energy towards them, it's even you don't it does you don't even have to say anything physically. You could be thinking it and they they feel it and it causes them to run. I've I've actually played around with this quite a few times. Um just just to see what would happen and it, it's it's very true um it's the mind energy that, that pushes on them and causes them to run and when you retreat back and you focus on yourself and on your spiritual journey you're meditating you're doing your breathing you're doing your yoga you're practicing presence and, and those things um when you do that they would like gravitate to you they'll magnetize to you I've noticed um, in the early stages when when um, he and I connected physically, um, I would be in this. I would be in my you know I would be in my room meditating, going to this really deep, beautiful meditation to the point where I feel like sometimes feel like levitating or whatever. And he would literally like during the meditation or after he would call every time. 100% of the time and it, it got to the point where I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna make him call me <laughs> just to test it out and I would go into this beautiful meditation and um, This is at the, the start of, of, of the of my awakening So I, that energy was still flowing through me really really strong and, and stuff like that and he would like clockwork bing call me right on cue and um, Yeah, that, that's how it went for a while. So when you was as you ascend to higher awareness and um, get out of that mind energy, your your twin will come back, and sometimes to the point of sometimes they'll come back to you to the you know it depends I guess where your energy is. Sometimes they'll come back to you and they'll just kind of be like nonchalant and blase, like hey you know um, let's go do this real quick you know or you know whatever you know I'm just making an example. Let's go out and, you know, grab something to eat or grab a drink, whatever. And it, it'll be just real nonchalant. You just, they just kind of want to chill and just be next to you and talk to you. Maybe they just, they just want to talk, whatever. And at other times, I'm noticing it, does, it, it honestly has not happened that often for me, but it has happened enough for me to notice that there's a difference. They will come back to you. Or they will come to you with an intensity so strong it's like they are obsessed they are like that same obsessive state that you were in it's like they're now in that state they don't want to see anybody with you they don't want to hear about you being with anybody else it's like you're their woman and and that's it it's it's <laughs> you know that um that's that's the le level of intensity they, they come towards you with um and then once you go back into that mind energy, you know, they might just go away for a little bit. They might ghost you for a little bit and um, you go back into your soul energy and they, they come back. It's like, that's why they said there's this running and chasing with twin flames. It's not that they're running. You're literally pushing them away with your energy. You are pushing them. They are there as your gauge to see how well you are doing on your spiritual journey. And when you are not in the right state of mind, they run. When you are in the right state of mind, they're back. When you're complaining, they're gone. When you're at peace, here they come. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth until you stop the pushing, until you stop the constant mind energy it's your spiritual awakening it is your time to detach and I, I know this is difficult because when you think about my first spiritual awakening it, it was very different from the second one and I'll go into all of that when I went through the second one it was just it was more subtle in how it occurred but the results was just much more intense and I'm like this is it's like I'm a, I felt like I was in different playing grounds or I was in different um, 
it was like everything was just different, like a different level of awareness. And um, it got me to the point where I, I was afraid. And I, I think some of us may be afraid of, of what's going on. You, you may be afraid of this connection. You don't truly understand why we're going through this. So um, it, it gets a little frustrating. Some of us may actually push them away on purpose. You know? But when you're ready to actually um, get on your spiritual journey and ascend and be at peace and you know it's already there you've already awakened you know you just need to make that your focus you know meditate practice presence things like that and um you will just be in a beautiful state of peace and your person will be right back there whether you want them to or not they're, they're gonna be there and they're not they won't be acting weird and, and um, whatever issues you may have had with them in the past it's it's like they're they're this different person you know and I've noticed too is is that when you're in this higher state of awareness you are not judgmental of, of, of your other self you're not judgmental you don't anything they may do you're like whatever there's no there's no judgment you you're not even thinking like there's no oh my god you did that you know there's nothing like that it's like you don't even flinch like your twin can tell you anything about themselves i don't care how ridiculously um bad you know because we're in a duality um reality at this point I don't care how bad whatever they did um, may sound to you. There will be absolutely zero judgment to the point where you don't even flinch when they reveal themselves to you. If what they have to reveal is um, something that you're not used to, you know what I mean? Because you're polar opposites. You're you're going to be very very different. You're going to have had led very different lifestyles you'll be more spiritual and they're going to be more um physical driven more 3d you know what i mean so yeah um that's what it is they're basically there is your gauge and as you drop back down into mental energy they're going to run whether or not you want them there when you go back into higher awareness they're going to come back now when you're in that level of higher awareness and they're right there you can make that decision of whether or not you want to be with this person whether you want to just keep them as a friend um a business partner um whether you don't want to speak with it but in, in all honesty i think when you get to such a high level of awareness you don't even care you know you're not judgmental of them so you're not gonna um push them you know i i haven't i've never uh pushed my t i have pushed him but that was for my own purposes not um not out of judgment for him or what he has done or anything like that but yeah, you're not going to push them when you're in this, this high level of awareness. And we go in and out of it all the time until we're, we're... It's like a practice. And that's why they're there. They're practicing us into higher states of awareness. And if you're constantly poking at them, poking at what they're doing wrong, and they're not doing this, they need to do the work, and they need to heal, and they need to blah, 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 and going on and on and on. If that is your focus, you will never get to where you're supposed to be. Because they're doing what they're they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to trigger you. They trigger you into high states of awareness. That is their purpose. They are you. You decided. You know, I'm gonna come here twice. I'm gonna um, yeah. This is a good time to to um, incarnate. Yep. And I'm I'm gonna be the polar opposite of that. And I'm gonna trigger myself. I'm gonna be so attracted to myself. That, yeah. I'm gonna be so triggered that I'm going to ascend to the highest possible state of awareness that I could possibly go in this lifetime. But yeah, that is the purpose of your twin flame. Um, please like this video, comment if you have any questions, please ask below. 
please share this with anyone you know may need this information or who can find this useful. Um, if you would like help on your uh, spiritual journey and, and with with your twin flame or whatever, I'm going to put my contact information in the description. Please contact me. I am at this point um, creating a community where we can help each other and at this time I'm not I'm not charging anyone for anything or anything like that I just want to get things started and, and help some people because we are supposed to be helping each other and I'm not saying that it's wrong to for anyone to charge because some of you some of us this may be our um, our um, our job <laughs> our career and they're putting a lot of people some people are putting a hundred percent of their effort into this and I, I would like to get there well, someday, someday soon. But for now, um, just get things started, get a community going, and let's see some results. Um, okay, so please contact me. Love you all.